Hey everybody, it is back to school week. It's hard to believe it's only a few weeks away and we are inside of Marta Sore Greca's home. Beautiful home with a beautiful family. Thank you. You have six kids, Marta, and we have Milo and Marcel here busy at their workstations. How do you prepare for a new school season? Well, the first thing is that you have to remember that there's going to be things added to your calendar that you're not used to for the past couple of months. So to be intentional about, first of all, adding extra things to that and second going into it with the mindset that it's all gonna work out everything will happen as it should and it's not going to be hard Mm -hmm. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Positive attitude, positive outlook and energy. So mm -hmm. these are two of your six kids and that this is, is where right. they, they gather and do yeah. their work. Mm -hmm. So where do you keep all of their stuff? Okay, so the most important thing to remember is that you don't have to keep all the stuff. Mm -hmm. It'll feel so good if you just take some time to do a big purge with your kids, have them help you. And if you have it in you, you can literally empty out every closet, every drawer, every working space. So you can get rid of all the excess that you're not using. Mm -hmm. You know exactly where everything is, which will feel really empowering and you'll feel grounded in that. And you know exactly what you actually need to get from that back to school list that can feel like a little much. Mm -hmm. And I love how you have everything coordinated here. It's almost like it's color coordinated. It's easy for the kids to find their supplies. Yeah, they can reach it. They know where everything is and they are responsible for putting everything back. But if it isn't perfect, it's not going to be. They're kids. Exactly. So just go easy on them. You have a goal that's meant to help you out. Well, this is what I like the most here in your home. You have such a great calendar and schedule of all the kids, all their days that they're supposed to do what chore. I'm sure this is very helpful for the school year. It's helpful all year round. We recently rehad a family meeting and it's typically time for a family meeting when you're feeling like, all right guys, we, we got to step it up. And we talked about who would like to do what on what days. And I did remind them Sunday's a day of rest, but the oldest did want to claim that as his laundry day, which is all good because it's not about telling them and talking at them and what to do. Let's come up with a solution as a family. But in the end, you are in charge, so not everybody's going to like it. I love your tips. You have such a great outlook, and I, I need tips for, for other situations too, Marta. I'm not I'm done to with help. you yet. I'm happy to help. <laughs> well, thanks for inviting us in your beautiful home, and best of luck with the new school year. Thanks. We'll send it back to you guys in the PTL studios. All right, thanks, Selena and Marta. And you know what I love about those drawers? Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, they're super organized right now, but you can open it up and see everything. It's, it's not piled on top. It's right. like put so that you can see it immediately, and that makes a difference. A simple is key, like something yeah. like Marta's calendar there. And we're going to have more back-to-school organizing tips on Thursday, so stay tuned for that. And I have to tell you, the family meeting, my kids love that because they hear me really? say that I have meetings all the time. Oh, I have oh, a meeting. Oh, so I have a meeting. They, they get so to take a meeting. They feel like it's very <laughs> important stuff. Maybe not a teenager would like it so much, but, but the in young, their, yeah, their age, they like it. We need to have a family meeting. Okay.